Is Windows 11 finally fixed for AMD CPUs? The results may actually surprise you. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we are testing whether or not Windows 11 has finally been able to fix their problem with AMD CPUs. For you guys who don't know, the original release of Windows 11 had a performance hit of up to 30%, depending on what you were doing, for games. And they supposedly said that they patched it out, of the, you know, within the last Windows 11 patch. But some people were still getting degradation up to like 15%, and some people it was even worse than it was before. Now, the reason for this has to do with the way the L3 cache and Windows scheduler works, but it's neither here nor there. The big thing is that they said that their latest beta patch for Windows Insider, which is the 2.82 patch, actually not only fixes this problem, but makes it run better than Windows 10. Fairly bold claim considering their recent track record. Now, here's the thing. I set out to test that they're full of it, obviously, and so I downloaded Windows 11 again, and I joined the Windows Insider program, which currently is the only way to get this build, although it will be released in an official patch in the next couple of weeks. If you wanna see what version you're actually running yourself, it's actually in the About section under your settings under Windows 11. It will tell you which version you're running, and as you can see, I'm running 2A2, which is the one that supposedly fixes all the issues. Now for testing methodology, I made sure I was doing this at 1080p and I was doing it only at high settings, not ultra. The reason for that is because the CPU is essentially the problem here. We want to stress just that as much as possible. And the higher you go in resolution and, you know, graphical settings, you're putting more burden on your graphics card than you are on your processor. Now, as always, testing methodology and build and all that will be in the description so you know kind of what I used, what I did. And the benchmarks themselves are fairly lengthy. I know you tech heads out there want to make sure that you can kind of see a more a full gambit, kind of like the testing itself. So there, everything is going to be split up in chapters so that way you can just kind of skip through if you want to see it. But I want to show you these benchmarks and tell you what I found out.
shocking, right? Windows is not full of it. 282 apparently not only fixes the you know CPU cache scheduling problem, but also improves performance generally for Windows gaming. Does that mean you should just run out and if Windows is great now, join the Insider program, do the beta build and you know, away you go? Absolutely not, because while making this video, since going to Windows 11, I had two computer crashes, one caused by something that I wasn't able to nail down and one caused by a driver issue with my graphics card related to Windows 11. It's not perfect. It's gonna have bugs for some time to come and Quite honestly, if this patch comes out main, like for the main patch update, maybe you would want to do that. But right now, Windows 11 is like a guy sticking his thumb in a hole in the dam for just like six or seven more holes to appear right after. So it's not a perfect system. I'd still wait a little while, but for you guys who are curious, yes, it does appear that this patch does fix the major issue that Ryzen CPUs were having. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was helpful, leave me a big thumbs up. If it was terrible, leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop next. As always, I'm gonna continue to create content. I love doing this. Uh, I'm in the works of a giveaway and I haven't quite decided if I wanna push something out this month or if I wanna kinda of hold it back and do maybe something with Alder Lake in November. I haven't quite decided because my goal has been to do one giveaway a month basically and the Logitech keyboard mouse one kinda of bled into October so I may hold back until November, do one then. Haven't decided but just wanna keep you all up to date. Anyway guys, as always, I'll see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc.